So in class, we either have discussed or will discuss, depending on when you view this video, the idea that there are two typical types of problems that involve the normal distribution. In the first type, you're given a z-score or value, and the goal is to use the CDF function to compute an area or percent. So for example, given a value of z on the x-axis, how would you find this corresponding shaded gray area, the y-axis? But there's also the other problem, which we call inverse problems, which work in the reverse direction. We're given an area or percent, and we use the inverse CDF to find the z-score value. So in these problems, it's more typical to be given this area, and the goal is to figure out which value of z would give us the appropriate cutoff. This week in lab, we're going to explore how to use technology to answer both types of problems. A mini tab makes it exceptionally easy to solve both normal and inverse normal problems. And not only that, it makes it easy to visualize the answer in the form of a graph with the appropriate region shaded. The way to do that is under the graph menu, you'll see a probability distribution plot option. And what we're going to do is click on the view probability. That, that's the one we'll be using exclusively for this lab, although there's other options which you could explore in other labs potentially. We're going to use the normal distribution, leave the mean and the standard deviation as 0 and 1 because we're going to be looking at z-scores. And now here, under shaded area, you'll notice there are several different options. We could check on probability, we could select on x value, and for both of those we have right tail, left tail, both tails, and middle. So what do these do? We'll start off by selecting x value, and under x value down here, enter 1.6, and mark the box next to left tail, or, or make sure that left tail is highlighted. When we click OK, you'll notice that what we get is what Minitab did, this number right here, this is the area of this red shaded region, and that's the area to the left of 1.6. So this number right here is the same thing you would see if you looked up 1.6 in the actual table. Okay. Now I don't like that it labels this X, because these are actually the Z-scores, so you can easily change the axis label by double-clicking. And I would like you to do that for the plots. So when we clicked on left tail and chose an X value, that allowed us to enter a specific Z-score and get an area to the left. Let's explore a couple other options. If we go back to the shaded area but click both tails or middle, okay, right, we'll do the middle option first. Then let's say that we wanted to figure out, as you can see here in this plot, the area between x1 and x2. Let's say we wanted to do negative 1 to positive 1, which we know should be about 68%. Now we get the exact answer, which is 0.6827. Actually, that's not even exact because we could list more decimal places, but we have the appropriate red region shaded. So in the lab, you may have other options to do, but that's basically the gist of what you'll have to do to compute probabilities under the normal curve. Now the one other option I wanted to note was this shaded area of probability option. This is the option you want to use when you're solving inverse normal problems. So if you select this option and enter a probability down here, for example 0.95, and select left tail, notice now what happens is the graph here has a 0.95 area shaded, that's this area in red, and what it tells you is it tells you the z-score that cuts off that area. It tells you the z-score which has a CDF of uh, 0.95. Right? And similarly to the other one, you could also choose uh, a, an area in the middle or an area on the tails and have Minitab compute the cutoff values for that as well.